Hello, I'm Fly Lady Cat, and I'm here with a special gift for you, and that is a free Patreon video. This Patreon video is one of hundreds and hundreds that I have on my Patreon channel, A Better Life with Fly Lady Cat at patreon.com. And on this video, you will see that we're talking more about how we think and implement the Fly Lady system into your life rather than the specifics about the Fly Lady system. Um, so I call it a mentor, a mini mentoring session, and it is $5 a month if you decide that you want to enroll at Patreon and become one of my patrons. $5 a month gives you five videos a week, week after week, month after month. If that's something that you love, please come over and enjoy these and be part of our special group. There are no advertisements on Patreon, so you'll be able to enjoy it end to end without interruption. If you feel that you'd like to have a little bit more mentoring, maybe some personal accountability or some help, you can get one personal mentoring session a month with me for $25. That is my tier two. That's going to give you the 25 minute mentoring session and the videos all inclusive for $25 a month. If you need more help, you can get two mentoring sessions a month plus the videos for $50 a month. And if you want to go all the way and really help yourself establish some great habits and get into the flow of the Fly Lady system, then I recommend that you go for four mentorings a month, which is $100 a month, including the free videos. These are all great systems for you. If you can't join Patreon, that's fine. Do your best on the Fly Lady system here on this channel. I'm sure you can, but if you do need some help, please come over and see how you like it. That's it for today. I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope you always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful. Enjoy the video. Hello patrons. Today we're talking about cleaning the other rooms in your house. I get questions all the time. It's like people really aren't watching my videos. <laughs> Maybe they've just watched one and just have this burning question. But if you're watching my daily videos and you get to zone three, you know that's where we handle all the other rooms. When people send me notes and say, what about my den? What about my office? What about my craft room? What about my garage? What about, what about? All those rooms fall under zone three. Now, I know what you're thinking, because I am you. How in the world will I ever get it all done? How will they stay clean? I can't just visit these four rooms once every four months. Yes, you can. So let's say you have four rooms that you want to tackle. Your garage, your laundry room, your guest room, and your office, or pick a room. This, you probably don't have more than four. You might, but let's just say you have four. All right, so uh, well, let's say five. Let's throw in the, the baby's room. Okay, five. Okay, that means once every five months, you're going to be getting to that room to do four things besides decluttering. That means when you start doing zone three, the bathroom and one other room, you're going to pick one of your designated rooms. Let's say there are five. Let's say it's the laundry room and you're going to first declutter that laundry room. So you're gonna do something in the bathroom for a day, and then on the other three days, you're going to go in that laundry room and for 15 minutes, you're going to declutter as hard and as fast as you can, or as efficiently as you can. That means you start with three containers, throw away, put away, give away, by your side, identified so you don't mix them up. And you go in that laundry room and you put everything in your hand for a nanosecond, make a quick decision, and put it in the right container. When you're done, you'll have pretty shelves and no clutter in this room. You might have some piles of laundry that are sorted, but you won't have any clutter. No trash bags, no empty laundry containers, no broken hangers, no excessive amounts of hangers, um, it's, it, no extra rags clothes that you think you're going to wear when you paint, which you never paint, you know, that kind of stuff. So that stuff is going to go garbage. Okay. And then you're going to begin to deep clean in this room. So if you decluttered for three days for 45 minutes in your laundry room, it's done. I mean, it's really done. If it's not done, then you're using it as a storage area. It's a bigger laundry room. If that's the case, then next zone three, you're gonna stay in the laundry room and finish decluttering for 45 more minutes, three days, because you gotta do something in the bathroom. Okay, 
Once it's decluttered, here, my dears, is where you exercise your grace, you, you continue to be beautiful, and you are a power, of, a center of strength and power. You are going to clutter check this room three times a day if it's a cluttery area, if it's a place that people throw things. And you're going to inspect what you expect if anybody else is doing laundry in this room. So that is your job. It's not a hard job. You don't have to do anything but speak unless you cluttered it and then you have to declutter from yourself. All right, so if it's the laundry room, you're gonna go into the laundry room and you're gonna say, okay, it was beautifully decluttered, I had my piles of laundry, and I'm doing a pile of laundry a day, right? And I'm finishing the process by folding and putting away laundry, not leaving it in the dryer or on top of uh, the dryer or even folded on a table in the laundry room. It's put away. That means I've completed the laundry, and you know that's what that means because I tell you that a lot. Okay, so you're going to look in that room and say, oh my goodness, look at this. Look what I did. I used the last pod in the container and didn't throw the container away and put pods on my list. I used the last of the softener or the whitener or whatever it is. Or I have things that need to be sewn. I need buttons and hems fixed on these clothes. So those need to go into a repair area. <laughs> and I'm going to commit to do those in the afternoon one item a day until they're done. Or, look at all this ironing I have to do. Well, if you're a person who chooses to iron, you're going to have to iron after you do all your other things. My suggestion is, hmm, buy things that don't require ironing. <laughs> okay, but if you have to iron, you have to iron. It's not part of your morning routine, it's not part of your zone work, and it's not part of your weekly plan. It's something else that you've committed to, so it's going to happen after. Okay. So when you look in there, if you see anything that's cluttered, oh, let's just say your kids just slung their towels in there. That's when you call them and you say, come here, Jim and Tom, come here, Mary. See all this stuff you threw in my nice clean room? This is not where it goes. Where do your wet towels go? That's right, you hang them up until they're dry. I'll tell you when to put them in the laundry. Where does your underwear go? That's right, it goes in your laundry basket or the laundry basket in the bathroom, or the hamper. Don't let them throw them in there, right? Unless you have specific places for them to be, and then you say, that's where it goes. So come on and pick it up. They're gonna whine and drag their feet and complain. You're not gonna take it personally. You're just gonna do your job. Your job is to make sure they put them where they go until they learn to do it, okay? So that when you get to this room the third time, don't worry about the other rooms. Look at them and say, I see you, I have a plan for you. I'm getting to you on zone three. But this third month, we're in zone three. Now you're gonna start deep cleaning the laundry room. Or you can go to the next room and start decluttering, but you have to keep this one decluttered, to keep it decluttered. I would suggest that you start deep cleaning it because it's gonna make it look better and you're gonna even more so want it to stay decluttered. So do deep cleans. Do you need to clean the inside of your washing machine lid? Is it gross? Do you need to wipe the, the machines down? How about the floors? Do they need a good mopping? How about the garbage can? Do you empty that as part of your weekly home blessing hour? Do you need a garbage can in there? So that's the kind of things I want you to do. And once you've got that laundry room sparkling, you may want to put a cute little picture in there. You may have a window in there that needs some new curtains. But the window is sparkling now. See, when it's clean and shiny, you don't want it to be cluttered. And when the kids clutter it, you're going to be even more so in control. So three times a day if it's a, if it's a clutter area, right? If it's not a clutter area and you just never cleaned it over the years, look at it at least once a day just to make sure that you're not throwing things in there or the kids aren't. All right, then the next month you're going to go to the next room. So let's say it's your office. And let's say your office can't get cleaned in three 45 minute, in three 15 minute sessions of 45 minutes. So you have to go there the next month. So for two months you've worked in your office for 45 minutes decluttering. The third month you can deep clean it or continue to declutter if you've got so much paper in there, right? Remember though, if you're doing an inch of paper every day, you don't have to worry about it. Just make sure it's in a big stack and you're going through it an inch a day, sorting it, not handling it, sorting it. You remember that. Okay, so um, 
that when your office is clean and sparkly and you're checking it three times a day for a clutter check, because you clutter in there, anywhere you clutter, your family clutters, you have to clutter check. And if you clutter check three times a day, it won't be as big a mess when you finally discover clutter. It'll just be little teeny bits of clutter, like a feather versus a whole room of feathers, okay? All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is um, go to the third room, all right? So the third room, Maybe we have to do 45 minutes of decluttering in there, so that's three months. I mean, that's, let's say you do it for two months, so it's an hour and a half of decluttering. And then the third month, you clean it, all right? So let's say that this is your, I don't know, what room did I say? Guest room, okay? So now it's taken you nine months, but you've got a clean living room, a clean dining, shoot, a clean laundry room, a clean guest room, and a clean office. Okay, let's say the fourth room is your craft room. Okay, so you're gonna go do the craft room. And let's say after three months, you've got totally decluttered and you've cleaned it. So now you've got four rooms that are totally clean. Now, we haven't cleaned, deep cleaned in these other rooms the whole time we've been working in these rooms, but you've decluttered them every day so they're not cluttered. They're not getting filthy because they're not a huge use room. These are not family fun rooms. The rooms that we clean on our weekly home blessing hour are places where everybody kind of lives in the house. Okay, and let's say you have a fifth room and that's the baby's room and you want to really deep clean that and declutter that. All right, so that's taking you five three-month things. That's 15 months. That means in a year and two months, all five of your rooms are sparkling clean, well, maybe they're not so sparkling anymore. Some of the first ones need to be cleaned again, but guess what? Now you're gonna put them in a rotation. You've got five rooms. Once every five months, those rooms are gonna get a deep clean. A deep clean, and that just means three things that you deep clean in there. I hope this makes sense to you. If you are um, really overwhelmed, then you wanna do a project and drop all zones and work on a project. So if your room has more than an hour and a half worth of decluttering in it, then perhaps you need to stop doing your zones and work on a project. But continue to declutter your whole home every day by doing clutter checks. Eventually people will complete their processes, including you, Missy, <laughs> and you won't have a big old mess. All right, I hope that was helpful, and I want you to remember to always be beautiful because you are beautiful.